The next day, he didn't come. I had the number of this. To me, he is a good storyteller. I would put Javen as kind of a cross a little bit between a little bit of Acoustic John Lennon and a little bit of uh, Bob Dylan. His voice, the quality of his voice. He had this deep, seasoned voice, which is almost uh, doesn't match his age. If I my wings, I cannot survive. I first met Jabin. I think I first presented him in my in one of my uh, concert series. Uh, that was in in a brew house in uh, in Wan Chai. I think it's like 2013. I think what happened was like I I, I can't really exactly remember who introduced him to me, but I think I, one of my friends told me about Jabin as an incredible singer songwriter. So I gave him a call and I invited him to to sing in in, in brew house. And I remember the first time when I met him and listened to him, I was so Im not impressed. I'm <laughs> when I first met him, the biggest impression he gave me is like he's such a shy person. And he was almost like so looked so uncomfortable standing in front of audiences. And and kind of like make he made me more nervous. <laughs> he invited me to play uh, at a place called Blue House. The first time we met is an outdoor concert, a very small concert. It's kind of like busking, but it's not because uh, it's a tiny house, and then the audience would sit on uh, alongside the road, and they would just listen. I think Jabin is like one of the best uh, young musicians I met in Hong Kong. I think definitely one of the best singer-songwriters. And so it's a combination of his songs, I mean his songwriting, his voice, his performance, and the way he played the guitar. The, I mean that accompaniment match his voice and, and, and match the music so well. So if I have to choose someone to represent Hong Kong, he definitely one of my first choices. He is a double bass player, jazz band called Mo Man T in Hong Kong. He played with me at my CD release show. Working with Javin is quite special because uh, you know I'm a jazz double bass player and most of the time I play with uh, an instrumental group and this time I'm mean, working with Javin is a kind of like a release for me because uh, it's just me and him and we most of the time we play acoustically with uh, acoustic guitar and double bass uh, so it's a kind of very straightforward very very uh, close together kind of uh, duo setup and i quite enjoy that feeling yeah when we start uh try to play together i try to avoid to 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 i mean to play too much but after a couple of times when we get to know each other more and i I think it's because of the trust between Draven and me, so I can try something uh, experimental, uh, maybe some sound, just the sound, not 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 the right note in the in the right chord, and try to try to make different texture and create some interesting uh, soundscape in his music. And I think he just let me do it. <laughs> uh, when I rehearsed with him, I didn't give him instructions or directions on how the songs should be played. I just sit down, count one, two, three, four, and, and then I started to play. And then he could follow, and he had a head out of great ideas and uh, new ideas for me. This time, his, his, uh, his solo album, to me, is quite uh, stick together with his group, Stranded Wells, which I really like their, 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 their album. It's quite close together. Maybe, maybe Javin is the composer and, 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 and the singer in, in, in the band. 
To me, he is a good storyteller. Sometimes I, uh, I may not very focus on what he's saying. I mean the lyrics, but uh, it's not about the lyrics. Just, just the lyrics. It's about the music, the flow, and all the uh, rhythms or, or the dynamics, the emotional content in the music, uh, which will inspire me and. Uh, yeah, just make me feel very exciting to play. That's 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 the reason I I, would, I like to work with him again and again. Yeah. The wench is a very important place. Um, for my career because uh, um, this bar is, uh, is a place where I begin to grow up. He's usually here about once a month with his acoustic music and then I try to bring his band Stranded Whale in once a month every six weeks as well depending upon their availability and, um, and what I can make happen. John, he is, uh, he is one of the owners of uh, The Wench, uh, a bar in Wen Chai, Hong Kong. But I've seen Jabin grow a lot as, a, as an artist and in his songwriting and in his, uh, in his confidence and, and in his overall performance and, and how he relates to the audience. I've seen a lot of growth and improvement and uh, it's been really cool to watch. It's a really good place to perform because uh, when I have some new ideas, I always tried it at the wench first because it's a very crowded place but it's very cozy and I can see the reactions of the audience whether they like it or not or if they feel anything about my songs. You can tell how they are feeling when you look in their, their eyes. I find that his songwriting is a little bit unique because his lyrics tend to be about what's happening now and, and they seem to be the way, they del way he delivers are very personal to him. And a lot of times with songwriters, they write songs and they're not really that, that personal, but I find with Jabin's material, the way he delivers and how he performs it, that it's very special to him and that it, it, the songs have a deep meaning and that's, that's very, that, I really enjoy that. Folk music is simple and it's uh, most of the time there's only acoustic guitar, vocals and uh, it's very minimal but at the same time it expresses a lot and it gives us a uh, a lot of emotion. I'm a very stubborn person and I like to be the dictator of my music. He really liked my music and that's why I liked him too. <laughs>